Hello everyone, and welcome to my video, a beginner's guide on how to read electronic schematic diagrams. Schematic diagrams are a visual representation or blueprint of an electrical circuit. They show the different components in the circuit and how they are connected to each other. Schematic diagrams are essential for understanding how circuits work and used to design, build, and troubleshoot electronic circuits. There are many different schematic symbols, but here are some of the most common. Voltage sources, batteries, and power supplies are represented by different symbols, depending on their type. For example, a 12V battery is represented by a rectangle with two lines sticking out of it, and a 220V AC power supply is represented by a sine wave symbol. Resistors. Resistors are represented by a zigzag line. Capacitors. Capacitors are represented by two parallel lines with a semicircle in between. Inductors. Inductors are represented by a coil of wire. Diodes. Diodes are represented by a triangle with a line through it. Transistors. Transistors are represented by a more complex symbol, but the basic idea is that they have three terminals, emitter, collector, and base. Integrated circuits, ICs. ICs are represented by a rectangle with pins sticking out of it. The type of IC and its pinout is usually written next to the symbol. The first step in reading a schematic diagram is to identify the different components. Once you have identified the components, you can start to trace the flow of current through the circuit. To trace the flow of current, follow the wires. Wires are represented by lines and connections are represented by dots. If you see a wire that connects to two different components, then that means that current can flow through both components. You can also use the reference designators of the components to help you trace the flow of current. The reference designator is a unique identifier for each component in the circuit. It is usually written next to the component symbol. For example, if you see a resistor with the reference designator R1, and you see a capacitor with the reference designator C1, and they are both connected to the same wire, then you know that current can flow through both the resistor and the capacitor. Here are some additional tips for students who are learning to read schematic diagrams. Start by looking at simple schematic diagrams. Once you understand the basics, you can move on to more complex diagrams. Use a schematic symbol library to help you identify the different symbols. Trace the flow of current through the circuit. This will help you understand how the circuit works. Use the reference designators of the components to help you trace the flow of current. Practice reading schematic diagrams as often as possible. The more you practice, the better you will become at it. Reading schematic diagrams can be challenging at first, but it is a skill that is essential for anyone who wants to design, build, or troubleshoot electronic circuits. With a little practice, you will be able to read schematic diagrams like a pro. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on electronics and engineering. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.